Triad Traffic Trouble, sponsored by Tatum and Atkinson. Call 1-800-LAW-0804. There's good news and bad news here at the intersection of Union Cross Road and Shields Road in Kernersville. The good news, crews are actually ahead of schedule for this new rec center with a grand opening planned in December. The bad news, the intersection right next to the rec center needs some much needed improvements to keep up with that increase in traffic flow. And those won't be done for a while. A facility like this and a park like this, once it starts getting built out, uh, it's going to bring a lot more dedicated traffic, uh, so it's, a, it's important to kind of figure that out, put that in the forefront. The intersection at Union Cross Road and Shields Road has needed improvements for a while, according to Parks and Recreation Director Ernie Pages. Ever since uh, the Union Road Cross has experienced an expansion itself down towards the south side, that traffic comes in and kind of bottlenecks in this area here. And he says many people have expressed concerns about what impact the new rec center will have on these roads. Because of the park itself, well, the park and then we have developments being built on this, on this path. So the traffic has been increasing steadily. There is a concern of, okay, what is this building? What's the additional traffic going to look like? What's it going to feel like? To help, the town contacted the North Carolina Department of Transportation, who said they would need to make road improvements to Shields Road in order to help keep traffic moving. Coincidentally, NCDOT was already planning to make changes to Union Cross Road. Pages says it made the most sense to ask to do the projects together. They were going to expand the, the road widening from Union Cross all the way to this intersection anyway. So we got together and, and decided to say, can DOT make this a total project? That means NCDOT will do the road improvements for both Union Cross and Shields Roads, adding dedicated turn lanes to both to make sure traffic doesn't get backed up. That way you're pulling traffic from the building off of the main straight straightaways. So it should help traffic ease, flow a little bit better. NCDOT says construction on the project is scheduled to start in June. Pages says the rec center is planning to open in December. If you know of a troubled roadway you would like us to investigate, just email us at trafficktips at abc45.com. We'll air your concerns every Tuesday evening. In Kernersville, I'm Casey Zanowick, ABC 45 News, standing up for you.